Hi, I'm Marilyn, and I'm going to read an excerpt from the book, My Stroke of Insight, written by Dr. Jill Bolte Taylor. I'm going to read the excerpt, and then afterwards, I'm going to kind of explain what we can learn from her experience. So this is a neuroscientist, Dr. Jill Bolte Taylor, and she studied at Harvard University. She experienced a stroke. She does explain a lot about the brain and she has diagrams as well. She talks about which area of the brain her stroke occurred. She nicely illustrates the difference between the right hemisphere and the left hemisphere of the brain and how they perform differently. Our left hemisphere of the brain is more associated with analytical thinking, with numbers, mathematics, science, order and organization and the right hemisphere of the brain is more associated with creativity, looking at the bigger picture, peace, love, joy, all these great emotions and so her stroke happened on the left hemisphere so she became right hemisphere dominant even though most of her life she was left hemisphere dominant being a scientist. She experienced joy during her stroke. So um, I'm going to read the excerpt, which is on page 41. I'm gonna start from page 41. I'm also gonna skip over a lot of parts because um, I just wanna get the gist of the book in this video. So she is basically in the shower when her stroke happens. When the water droplets beat onto my chest like little bullets, I was harshly startled back into this reality. As I held my hands up in front of my face and wiggled my fingers, I was simultaneously perplexed and intrigued. Wow, what a strange and amazing thing I am. What a bizarre living being I am. I am a sea of water bound inside this membranous pouch, here in this form. I am, I am a conscious mind, and this body is the vehicle through which I am alive. I am trillions of cells sharing a common mind. I am here now, thriving as life. Wow, what an unfathomable concept. I am cellular life. No, I am molecular life with manual dexterity and a cognitive mind. What is it I'm trying to do? Dress for work? I'm going to work. Do I know how to get to work? Can I drive? As I visualized the road to McLean Hospital, I was literally thrown off balance when my right arm dropped, completely paralyzed against my side. In that moment, I knew. Oh my gosh, I'm having a stroke. I'm having a stroke. And in the next instant, the thought flashed through my mind. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, how many scientists have the opportunity to study their own brain function and mental deterioration from the inside out? My entire life had been dedicated to my own understanding of how the human brain creates our perception of reality. And now I was experiencing the most remarkable stroke of insight. Also in the book, she talks about when she's experiencing the stroke, how when she was in the shower, she felt her body become expansive. And she describes it like an outer body experience. And so this kind of gets us to questioning, where does consciousness really originate? Is it originating in our brain or does it originate somewhere else? So this kind of uh, raises that question. And it is a neuroscientist experiencing this, a skeptic by nature. Her words, I do trust them to be credible. So that's one aspect of the book that it raises the question of consciousness. While she was experiencing the stroke in her left hemisphere, her right hemisphere became dominant. This is the hemisphere associated with the bigger picture, with joy, peace, and creativity. And so she didn't react to it in a negative way. She only had 
basically almost like a positive experience saying, wow, I'm having a stroke. This is awesome. And uh, this could also be the scientist in her just being curious and just wanting to learn more. But I do believe that it's also caused by her right hemisphere. Looking at the bigger picture. And what this can teach us is that um, even in difficult times, like a stroke for example, there are different ways to look at difficult situations. And we can also look at those difficult situations as opportunities for learning. And so we don't need to take the difficult situation so seriously and look at it as just horrible, horrible things. But it could also be great opportunities for learning. And the fact that we as human beings are going to die. It's 100% certain that we will die. And so we don't need to be so afraid of death or afraid of these horrible experiences because they won't last forever. Dr. Jill Bolte Taylor went from a Harvard grad with a PhD in neuroscience and after her stroke, she couldn't read or write or do basic mathematics, so she had to relearn everything. And during her experience, she was completely blissful, she was uh, at peace, and she found fulfillment during the process. This can also teach us that we don't have to view negative things in our lives negatively, that there is a different way to look at it. So if you're going through a difficult time, I hope you remember that. And if you found this content insightful and if it's helped you in any way, if you could please subscribe to my channel as I will be doing more readings from books that raise conscious awareness. Thank you for watching.